dungeon master and wait for your monster hunting assignment before venturing out. The monster you will be tasked with defeating will be determined by our local magical council, the chat. The chat monster oracle will find which enemy is best suited for your party by typing either one, two, or three once the oracle selection box appears. While this complex magic ritual is taking place, you adventurers will meet with your assigned dungeon master. Your dungeon master today is... Uh, dungeon master Whitney. Alright, she's waiting for you in the tavern proper. Once she gives me the signal, you will have exactly five minutes to prepare for battle. Be sure to not only meet your fellow party members, but also explore the tavern with your dungeon master. This tavern is a well-known waystation for monster hunters, and there are all kinds of characters who hang around. There could be deals to be made, or bonuses to discover, if you're quick and clever. After the five minutes are up, we will all watch a brief but mandatory interlude on the tavern stage. A chaos flow opened up there a while ago, and so if we just built a stage under it rather than dealing with the full removal guild, because they always charge you a horn and a leg, and for what? Anyway, I digress. <sighs> After this interruption, you and Dungeon Master Whitney will be teleported to your assigned monster's location to try and win the day. I say try because, you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. Boy, if I had a gold coin for every time I heard that one, right? Mm. Oh, and please try not to stab any of the patrons while you're in the tavern. We don't put a top down, and I seriously don't want to do the paperwork, all right? Thank you. Uh, that's about it, so thank you for visiting the Pack Tavern Dungeon Concierge Deck. Try not to die. Or, you know, to see if I care. Yeah, yeah, I was talking to Mom earlier. No, no, she's fine. I was trying to create a character sheet for her. And, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Love you, Grandma. Hi, everyone! Welcome to Chaotic Roll! Another couple weeks in, and here we are. Uh, so if you're new to the show, hi! Welcome to this chaos. Uh, my name's Whitney, I am the DM for today. And pretty much we're going to talk to some of our guests for today put them through some in interesting situations, and then have them fight against a monster that you guys are going to vote for. Uh, so if you're on Twitch right now, you'll see a little bit of a poll. Uh, one, two, and three are the options. Pick whatever number that you, you're feeling today, and we'll find out what the monster is towards the end. Uh, but enough talking on my end, because we are on a time limit. Let's introduce our guest for today. Hi, everybody. Well, hi, 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 friends. How, how's everybody doing? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just doing swell. Thank you for having me. All right. I, we got, you know, y'all's types of uh, accents is making me want to, uh, I really want to do an accent right now, but I will not do it justice. Oh, but no, you should just talk like however you're from. You Oh, I'm hearing two things at the same time. Go uh, ahead, Sir Brandon. No, no, you, you go you go first, friend. You go first. You go first. Oh, thank you. Yes. I was just gonna say you should talk like wherever you're from. That's all I'm doing. Well, and you know what? I was gonna say you should talk like you were wherever you're from. <laughs> well, huh, small. I'm world, glad I'm glad that we are in unison and that it seems like the two of you are gonna get along. But let's introduce you guys. Uh we look. It looks like we got little Mitchy Two Shoes. Yes, hello. Yes, that's Hi. me. Yeah. Little Mitchy Two Shoes, the 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 street thief of London, or uh, 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 you know London, wherever that equivalent is, where you are. And I'm I'm always 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 I've got two shoes. So explain to me why two shoes. Well, because if you only have the one, then you can't run. If you don't have the one, you can't run. Yeah, if you only have the one, you can't run. Wow. Got to have two. It logically makes sense, doesn't it? Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so going off on shoes, what's your favorite type of shoe? Ooh, I like a good feeler. A, a feeler? Feeler, yeah. F-I-L-A, you've heard of it. It's a brand 
from ancient London that I like. Mostly they're white shoes, which is a problem because they get dirty and scuffy in the muddy streets of the equivalent of London. Yeah. What was the place again? London? The equivalent of London, oh, wherever the we are. Equivalent. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's a city called the equivalent of London. You've heard of it. Now I do. And I look forward to Yeah. It's that old song, the equivalent of London is far down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, let's introduce our other guests for today. Um, it looks like the label says Brandon Beck, but I believe your true name uh, is something else. So tell me what that name is. Hi, I'm Jim Roke. I, uh, I bar, uh, I hop for a lily pad, the lily pad. Uh, around this uh this fine uh fantasy nation of ours and uh i you know i just i just like hopping around and uh singing songs for people uh like like my, my like my big hit croak naturally <laughs> or uh, big big bad frog john big frog or, john uh, yeah i'm trying to think of some other ones but uh, i did just wake up from a nap so it's all good. I gotta say, uh, for someone who's very into frog culture, you come off very human. Oh no, no, uh, you're you're just uh, I, I you know I try to be as frog like as possible. I mean, I do, I do uh, you, it, I don't I don't like to do this when it's uh you know the first date, but you want to hear me croak? Absolutely. Yay! <laughs> Oh, How about that, huh? That was beautiful. I mean, my, my, chest, my chest just went flying out there like it was a water balloon. I, yeah. I do understand why you don't do that on the first date. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, it makes the ladies mighty uncomfortable, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. I gotta say. But I am, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be uh, to be uh, dungeon, dungeon exploring with y'all with folks tonight. Yes. Which brings us, you know what, that brings us to our first thing. I think we all did our little icebreaker, got to know each other. Uh, so let's put you through the ring of fire. Uh, so for this one, we're all going to start off at a tavern. Uh, yes. Our, oh, wonderful, <laughs> our wonderful tavern that we all love and adore. Um, and yeah. Ah, now everyone give oohs and ahs. That's it's such a beautiful tavern. Ooh wee! Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh wow, wow, wow! All right. Yowie, wowie is right. Oh man, sorry, that was too meta. Anywho, <laughs> anywho. So, uh, pretty much, you're gonna have five minutes to interact with the environment at the tavern. Uh, you may get some uh lucky bits, so to speak. Maybe some weapons, gold. Or you might come across a situation that you that are that have consequences. So we'll see oh, how this goes. Yes, I'd like to find the biggest, meanest man in the bar. Oh, and you want to find the biggest, meanest man in the bar? Yes, okay. I would. And I would like him to be the drunkest man as well, ideally. All right, <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Uh, Jim, do you do you want to be part of that? Uh, well, I, I, I really want to see sort of where that's going first, so, uh, I'm just gonna walk over to the bar and, uh, say to the barkeep, hello, friend, uh, I, I would like a, uh, glass of pond water, please. All right. As you can tell, I am a frog. All right, cool. So while you're ordering that drink, we're going to cut to, uh, a little Mitchie Two-Shoes surveying the bar to see the biggest, baddest, Meanest, ugliest, uh, drunkest guest. Yes, and I, I, of course, I what I want to find from him is where his little knife is, so I can take it and have myself a little knife. Ah, all right. And my plan is simple. I will take this little piece of broccoli and throw it at him. And he'll say, what? Where is the broccoli from? He'll be so distracted, he won't even feel me steal. All right. So you come across this big, mean, nasty, drunk rock gnome. Yes. 
with a with a big with a good with a good knife i hope i scout out his knives to see which of these knives at his belt is the best one for me sure so are you like surveying with your eyes or are you actually like touching this oh i'm surveying with my eyes the All trick right. to being a good thief with two shoes is to keep your distance until you're ready to move all right we're gonna see because i need some guidance on Ooh. <laughs> all right we gotta say this rock gnome may be the meanest baddest ugliest smelliest drunkest we made that a word. But you can clearly see he's not the smartest. Yes. So he's got he's got pretty much like little daggers on the back of his um, belt. Excellent. They're on the back of his belt. How convenient. Okay. So in that case, I want to sneak up to him. I sneak up to him one shoe at a time. And I take one dagger from each belt hole that he's got a belt hole dagger in. I take all of his daggers and I scurry away. You know what? I'll give that to you. <laughs> yes. You yourself are a rogue. I think you got it. So as, you got uh, two daggers. As as he's scurrying away, uh, if he passes me at the bar, I want to take my tongue and just sort of go and try to grab one of the uh, uh, knives from him. You know, just like a cute little joke. Oh, a frog tongue move. I see. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna roll for you to see what happens with that. Um, well, I would love it if you would. All right. Uh, that one's a little bit cocked, so I'm gonna roll again because I can't really quite tell. I don't it's know why. Not on the screen. Yeah, that too. Ah. Oh, well, <laughs> well, can't win them all. Um. So in the process of you sticking your tongue out. Uh oh. I think plans went too well in the sense where little Mitchy Two Shoes got so excited to grab those daggers running with daggers, which is probably not something you should do, accidentally stabs you in the tongue. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Jim, Jim Crochy. I did not mean to stab thee. But oh, on, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but on the plus side, at least you have a, a tongue piercing. So uh, if you want, you, there's a uh, person on uh, off in the corner who can give you a jewelry if you, if you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn to the bartender and go, Excuse me, friend. Tongue is bleeding pretty hard. Uh, the bartender's like, Listen, I don't understand what you're saying, but I think Can I, I have something. To my tongue is bleeding pretty hard. Oh, uh, I don't he the needs something for his tongue. It's bleeding really hard. So the bartender mm -hmm. gives you two pond water. Um, grabs a napkin from their pants, gives it to you, and then just walks away. And that is it. Yay. Woo! Good job, everyone. All right. I got daggers. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I got off, a hole to, in my tongue. off to a short break. Hello. This is David Lynch. It's Friday, January 30 in Los Angeles. And here's today's alphabet. A, a place you never should have been, and yet you return. B, a lot of bees, and they know your secrets. C, D. One destructive phrase begets another. D. One destructive phase begets another. E. I'm sorry, I was transcendentally meditating and fell asleep. That's today's alphabet with David Lynch. Everyone have a beautiful, beautiful after morning.
okay for the last time grandma i i i made sure that i made mom a bard and she's all set up. oh shoot i gotta go hi welcome back all right so we got sucked into the time teleport and we wound up at this random place looks a little dry doesn't it for you guys yeah that's quite the desert it is a bit of a desert yeah but here you are uh so pretty much the desert's pretty dry as i said before uh, and sandy I, I, I do prefer a pond if, if i'm being honest i you know i i prefer a pond too uh unfortunately when we get sucked in we don't get the chance on having preferences on where our locations are uh just the nature of it all it's I prefer a... portals are wild aren't they <laughs> They sure are. I prefer a puddle on the streets of equivalent of London. Ooh, like a really I, I dirty one? I prefer a puddle on the streets of equivalent of Laredo, my friend. reference <laughs> 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 if, you, if you like old country music, I tell you that much. <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, you know, uh, it, it, yeah, agree, agree to disagree, uh, Mitchy Two Shoes. Agree okay. <laughs> I prefer old equivalent of London music. Is that, like, is that like equivalent of London Bridge has fallen down or the equivalent of the Beatles? <laughs> uh, yes, it's the, yes, yes, both, yes. You know, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly you hear, no, you know what? What? You feel vibration yeah, what? under your feet. Oh, my two shoes are vibrating equally. Ooh, how does oh, that make, how down, do the shoes make it feel? I, I, I am terrified of vibrations because they generally mean large things are coming and I'm little. Oh, no. Well, you're not going to like the news because the vibrations get louder. But then... Oh, dear. You get a whiff of something. Oh, is it pie? We're going to have both of you guys rule to see whether or not you'll identify. Uh, first one's Mitchy. The other one is... Oh, wait, I didn't roll two. My bad. Uh, That's okay. It happens to the best of us. It really does. All right, both of you guys, both of you guys can smell this stuff. And I got to say, it smells fucking good. Ooh, like pie. Oh, I do um, love a pie. I do I love mean, a pie. One would say it's kind of a meat pie. Um, so as we get, as the... Yeah, so as the smell gets stronger, you hear like a loud roar, like, Aah! and you uh -oh. come across a a bird, or, or wait, what is it called? <laughs> Guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is our monster for today. It is a giant, uh, I got the name here. Hamburglar. Yeah, almost. <laughs> it is almost the hamburger. It's the cheese bearger. Cheeseburger, no. Oh, cheeseburger. Oh, no, I don't like that as a monster or a portmanteau. Ah, uh, but no that I. is. A... <laughs> and that is uh, your monster. Use, I think that's the first thing we've ever agreed on. It sure is. It's nice to agree. It really All is. Right. I think this is going to be the beginning of a good friendship. Yes. If we survive. If, if we you, survive. If you guys survive. All right, we're going to roll for initiative. So I'm gonna roll for both of you two. I'm gonna roll okay. for the monster to see who goes first. If you guys are able to see your dexterity modifications, that would be helpful. Otherwise, we'll roll with it. Uh, so I have a plus three, please. All right, so 12 plus three, that is 15. Yum. Uh, so uh, Jim, uh, what's your modification What mod? Uh, for for which uh, which stat talking about here? I'm sorry. It's all good. Uh, so for dexterity. Uh, that'd be a plus two. That'd all right, so that two. that gives you four. So I'm gonna roll for the monster. Um, oh, I should have that character sheet up and ready. Uh, but it looks like the monster isn't any better. Uh, why did I not have this? Oh, here we go. That's why. Do 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 do. Yeah. Okay, pretty much the monster's eight. So the order is Little Mitchy Two Shoes, Monster, and Jim. Oh, yes. Okay. So um, 
am I one of those rogues with the ability to hide after taking an action? Like I take an action and then I hide? We can make that work. Okay, great. Well, then what I'd like to do is fire off a little arrow bow shot and try to hit this hamburglar right in the olive eye. All right. So I'm going to roll to see whether it hits or not. That. You know what? That hits. Yay. Awesome. So what do I need to roll for damage for the um, for the bow and arrow? The bow is a I uh, ten one d eight plus three. All right, but cool. I, yes, eight points of damage. Yes. All right. Okay, and then oh. I'd like to <laughs> run, use my running times to run behind uh, the the rocks to the south and hide. Over here. Cool, cool. So I just realized we did update our rules, so we're not going to worry about rolling for damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, so for the first round, we'll do that. But then moving forward, averages five damage, unless it's a crit. Bond for me. Bond bon, bon me. But you know, so here's the thing, a little Mitchy two shoes. I'm going to reverse a little bit because the monster's going to take opportunity of attack. What? It's so far away. It, it's a big monster. Okay. <laughs> But it, it misses, so you're able to sneak right through. Like, Excellent. monster tries to take a bite out of you, misses. Uh, you're able to scoot right through. Those All cheese right. teeth are too soft for me. Yeah. Yeah, his teeth are a little cheesy. Almost got yourself in a pickle there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the monster, the monster's a little upset, so it's going to attack Jim. See whether or not it hits. Misses. I can tell you that right now. Misses. So this monster is very sluggish, as you can tell. Maybe his eyes aren't working very well either. Now that they I'm don't looking. seem to have corneas. No. <laughs> I mean, there there is there is a light in those olives that I can definitely see, but yeah, they don't seem to have corneas. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not at all. All right, Jim. What would you like to do? Well, uh, what, what I think I'd like to do is I would like to uh, cast. I, I would like to look at uh, look him right in his uh, pearly olives and uh, cast charm person, uh, if if that's possible. I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna go, hi friend. Uh, it's it's very nice to meet you. My my name is uh, what's my name? Well, like the pine trees lining the winding road, I got a name and. Like a singing bird and a croaking toad, uh, my name's Jim Croakchi, uh, and, and it's a pleasure to meet you, charm person. What do you hope is going to happen with this charm, just out of curiosity? Well, I, I, I hope it'll make the monster uh, just stop for a second and realize that we're, uh, we're two fun, good time fellas uh, just out here on the town. Oh, yes, we could be hamburger friends. We could be hamburger friends. So I just rolled because you're casting... A magic spell. I needed to roll to see whether the monster is able to shake off, shake it off. Um, oh, yeah. Unfortunately, this monster definitely did shake that off. It ain't. Well, it ain't All it right, ain't. that's uh, a. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good to know. Good, good to know. Oh, <laughs> um, fuck me. So, to give a better visual, the monster looks at you, pauses for a moment, shakes it, and then just starts roaring again, like. Argh! Yeah. Oh, you're like Big Bad Leroy Brown, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or should I say Big Bad Leroy Brown Toad? <laughs> oh, you and those puns. All right, back to the top. Uh, Literally uh, my only skill. Yes, well, I'm hidden behind this, this rock, so I would like to sneak attack, which is the normal damage plus uh, uh, 1d6. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll do my, my bow move again. Yes. Strike All right, for the so, eyes. So I think for attacks, they have to be melee. So you would have to use your daggers that you got from the bar in order for it to what? be. What? I think so. This is news to me, but I'll play your way. Yes. <laughs> uh, in that case, um, I will. We do, we do love house rules. 
We sure do. I will sneak up to the front rock, the rocks closer to it. Stay sneaky the whole way because my Fila shoes are so quiet. They don't sneak, they don't squeak at all. Um, uh, and uh, uh, do a sneak attack with my two daggers, two stabs. Okay, yeah, so you can so you can do a sneak attack with the two daggers. So I'll give you two rolls to see whether either one hits or misses. Yes. First one misses, second one hits. Yes. So five oh. plus a d6. Oh, oh. Oh, nope. You get you I get it. I get it. Never mind. Yeah. House Bye. rules, not my rules. Uh. I get it. <laughs> I think in this case, I think yeah, You gave me two rolls. I think that counts. So remind me again how to roll for that. It is a d8 plus three. Uh it's a one d6. One d6. Thank you. I'll take that plus three, sure, yes. All right, cool. Yeah, so so you go in, you swoop for the first one, you barely get a piece of lettuce, but then you swoop again and get right into the meat of it. And then I eat the lettuce, yum, yum. Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll give it, you know what? <laughs> oh, Four of health. <laughs> yes. I love some ritual eating during a, during a fight. Yes, I've been help. eating broccoli this whole time. It's yeah. part of the bit for some reason. Uh, moral <laughs> of the story, everybody watching, eat your vegetables. Yum. <laughs> All right. Uh, monster is going to feel that. So it's going to turn around and bite you. Does a 16 hit? Um, My armor class is... Uh, 14, so, yeah. yes. So, it bites you. Uh, you take five points of damage, but, like, it doesn't necessarily, like, it, it hurts, but it's more like a discomfort. Yes. Uh, and then right afterwards, you got, like, barbecue and ketchup all over you. It's not fun. Yuck. Get this, get me a, get me a washcloth, someone. <laughs> You might have to use that piece of lettuce to help you out. I uh, hate it. <laughs> I only lost one because of the flower points I got before, but I did oh, eat yeah, the lettuce, right. so I can't wipe myself off with it. Yeah, flower so... points? What is this, Mario RPG in the Thousand oh, Years <laughs> So that is a good point, because you already got your health. You're only down to one point. Wonderful. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, Jim, you're up. What would you like to do? All right. What, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use, g given that I am both a bard and, <laughs> well, and I got a, 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 an action called Stand and Leap because I'm a frog, which means I can jump really high. All uh, right. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this uh, monster dead in the eyes and go, L -l listen, buckaroo, you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull a mask off the old J Lone Ranger, and you don't mess around with Jim. And when I say Jim, I'm going to use stand and leap and try to jump onto the top of uh, the sandwich monster and just grab his two eyes. Uh, the two, oh, like, yes. uh, 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 oh, God, what are those little sticks you put in food called? I'm, oh, I'm not pulling it right now. Two chopsticks. Sticks. Grab his two, two sticks and be like, try to, like, rip his eyes out, you know. All right. Uh, just, so just like you would do. I'm going to roll for grappling in that case. All right. Oh. That sounds good. Yeah, so we'll roll for grappling and see how that goes. Well, let's see. Mm, as you jump up, oh. you try to grab, but it seems as though the monster is a little bit farther away from where you estimated your leap. So, I mean, no harm, no foul. You, you jump, you miss, and you came back down. Well, all I tried to do was act natural leap, and it didn't work. It is what it is. Do you have any bonus actions? Uh, let let me uh let me look at my character, uh my character sheet. And while I'm doing this, uh, I I, I would like to let y'all know that every Tuesday and Thursday on the CBS network is the Jim Croce uh Ranch Show, uh which features me and my band, and we play a lot of uh good time songs. Uh, and it, it's it's a, it's a fun old time, and there's only eight episodes available on YouTube. Uh, I've yeah, seen all eight. They're fantastic. 
Oh, which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite? Episode three, the one oh. with the lady. That was a oh, that was a good one with Loretta Lynn and Roy Clark. Oh, that's right. Yes. That's good. Oh yeah. The I don't, I don't think just... I have a bonus action, unfortunately. That's okay. The monster is just standing there in sheer confusion while you guys were talking about episodes, and it's like. Mm. You can get them all on DVD, friend, from Time Live. You know what's a surefire way to confuse a monster is talk about the show episodes. <laughs> sure is. Monsters hate talking about Matthew LeBlanc. They sure do. All they right. They talking about Benoit Blanc, but they hate talking about Matthew LeBlanc. <laughs> Oh. All right, starting from the top. Uh, uh, Mitchie, what would you like to do? Yes, well, I assume since I'm so close, I can't really do a sneak attack again. So what I'll do is um, uh, just a, uh, 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 I'm going to try to um, uh, uh, pull the lettuce out from inside the, the, the old burger boy, uh, you know, like a tablecloth <laughs> trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean. So like... Yes. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I. in this case, I will call this grappling, but essentially I'm rolling to see whether it succeeds or fails. Okay. And that succeeds. Aha, now I get to say what I was thinking earlier. How do you like them grapples? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, d I did like that quite a bit, friend. I sure did. <laughs> Yes. So I assume that the burger losing its lettuce probably hurts it. Yeah, I give it five points. Yes. It at least is pissed off realizing that a part of itself is. Can I take a little nibble and recover my one health? Sure. Yes. <laughs> you just split off a little sliver. Always <laughs> eat your greens, Mr. Douches. Always eat your greens. All right, yeah, so the monster's going to be upset with... Uh, it's going to be upset with Mitchie, so it's going to roll to bite you. Uh, it misses. I think it misses, because you said 14 was your That's order. correct. All right, it misses. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this monster's very sluggish. It's attempt to attack... While it attempts to attack me, I use the lettuce like a bull toro. Uh, and it 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 goes for the green and it misses me. Ah, uh, I feel like the monster only sees green. A matador is what I mean by bull toro. Bull toro. <laughs> See, I understood what you meant. I got you. Somehow, even though toro is just Spanish for bull. Uh, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Sure is, friend. Sure is. <laughs> All right, Jim, you're up. What would you like to do? All right, what I'd like to do. Um. I, I'm 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 so sorry. I forget. Am I on top of the uh, the monster, or am I like on the floor? Oh, I I meant to move you. You're like right in front. All right. Basically, what I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up at the monster and go, "Hey, Subway sandwich." Oh, um, got him. I'm on, I'm on I'm on cast a vicious mockery cantrip. I knew you were uh, doing that. But what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it uh, uh, come in the form of a, uh, a, a a mocking white country song. All right. That makes him feel really bad about himself. Like uh, call it like the 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 bun with the far away olive eyes. Or, uh, All right. Blue, better... blue, oh no, here it is. I got it. Blue olives crying in the rain. All right. <laughs> That's, that's I, I better hear Nelson's song. It's not not Buck Owens, but that's all right. I, I've been playing the game kind of loose. <laughs> so, needless to say, <laughs> oh shoot, I'm gonna give it to you. I I screwed up because technically, what I was supposed to roll is to see whether the monster shakes it off. But I kept. The, I was super excited because I really want to hear this vicious mockery so badly. Are you, you able to blurt out a couple verses or two? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ah, okay, so I'm like, this is singing from the perspective of someone that's about to eat a sandwich. I'm gonna put you into my mouth. Mm. I'm gonna put you into my body. Oh yeah. I'm gonna eat you because you're a sandwich. Mm -hmm. All I gotta do is act 
like naturally, and then just like cast my mocking spell on him. Yep, I'm gonna give that to you. That was very beautiful. Five points of damage. Thank you. That's very. That's very kind. That's very kind. It reminded me very much of episode five of your YouTube show. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Episode five. Mm. All right. Back to the chat. Well, that's, that's the one where I that's the one where I do a duet with Pond Rich. Uh, that's a really good one. That's yes, really you good do one. a duet with Pond Rich, and then the two of you both eat sandwiches. We do, we do. Man, it was sad when Pond Rich died in a motorcycle accident. Way before sure his time. Was. Yeah, I know him, and I agree. Can we have a moment of silence for Pond Rich, please? We have to. <laughs> <laughs> all right that was a lovely moment in, in in remembrance of a lovely frog wonderful so as you guys were talking uh actually i'm gonna roll for both of you oh. i'll tell you what i'm rolling to see okay all right i will say uh mitchy you don't notice anything quite yet i'm looking but, at the song list but jim what you notice that the burger is getting a bit toasty. Huh. Oh. Yeah. Well, sound, sounds like Bun's gonna live here again. <laughs> <laughs> so you notice that the bun on this cheese burger is getting really toasty. Hmm. All right. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's uh, it's um, uh, Mitchie's turn. But I wanted to roll to see who observed this thing that's happening. Oh. What what am I seeing again? Uh, you're noticing that the burger's getting real hot. Oh, hey, uh, uh, Mitchie, uh, M- uh, Mr. Two Shoes, uh, we we might have a little bit of a uh, uh, uh hot cross buns here on our Uh-oh. hands because they are the buns are hot and they are cross. Oh no! Probably um, we've been punching them. That would make sense. Um, d- d- shoot! What could that possibly mean? I don't know. So I, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, pull out the tiny mirror that's included in my carried gear and Ooh. try to use the sun, the heat of the sun, to overcook this burger. All right. Um. What are you going to roll for that? What does, you know, what? I'm just rolling to see whether it works or not. Okay, great. Um, yeah, that works. <laughs> yes, do I start a fire on top of the burger's friggin' head? I'm going to roll to see the damage on it. So I'm going to roll, I'm going to do the equivalent of you doing a sneak attack because it is very sneaky of you to pull out a mirror and it's very subtle. Uh, So it's a d6 plus... Nothing. (laughs) But you gave me plus three last time if you want to do that again. I'm just going to roll a d6. Okay. (laughs) I mean, I think you should give him the plus three, though. I think think he deserves it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Actually, Jim, explain to me why I should give three more points. Well, because when you... Oh, who? I was saying to Uh, Jim. Me to explain. Oh, sorry. Well... I mean, Minji Two Shoes is really acting with the strength of a man with three shoes right now, and I think he really deserves it. I would never I'll have to. I'll count that as blessed. I'll count that as a well, blessed. Ble- bless your heart. Bless your heart for counting yeah. that as blessed. <laughs> oh, bless your- All right. I feel yeah. blessed. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that. Uh, at first, a little bit of a flame comes out, Ooh, but yes. it starts spreading. Yes. And it's and that bun and- is on fire. I can do music jokes too. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one for him. That was a really good one. We, uh, we thank you. Have, we should have you on the Jim Croce Ranch show. Oh, that's always been my dream. We'll 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 uh, we'll, we'll put you on with Glenn Campbell. We'll talk about yes. we'll talking my book for after the fight. We'll put you on with Glenn Campbell. I can't wait. All right, so this monster is going to be taking automatic damages because it is on fire. Uh, so we're going to, yeah, so we're going to add a plus two damage for any, for each person's turn, including yes. the monster's turn. So 
Yeah, so right now it is at plus two. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much your turn, Mitchie. Uh, the monster? I'm going to see whether or not it's distracted. All right. So it's it obviously feels the pain, but it's not enough to shake it off and is going to attack um, Jim. So we're going to roll to see whether or not it fights. No. Misses. Oh, uh -huh. good, good. Yeah, so dis distract, not distracted enough to keep in mind the objective, but distracted enough where it ain't fighting. So, uh, Jim, you're up. Uh, what, I, what I would like to do is I would like to use my, uh, my rapier. Right, which cool. is a kind of a sword. Yep. Um, and I'd like to, uh, cause I'm still standing right in front of him, right? Yes. And he's got that, he's got that big old, uh, big old pickle tongue, like in the yes. image. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to take my rapier and just jam it down into his big old pickle tongue and get it stuck in the floor. All like, all like Ooh. good and proper. Uh, Ooh. you know, like grandma used to do. So my so grandma pretty... always did that. Oh, I see. So you want to take the rapier and just stick the uh, tongue to the ground. I, I sure do, friend. I sure do. I thought you wanted to drag it, drag the tongue down, so it creates. Oh, oh no! I just want to like get it down in there to like pin him to the ground. Cause cool, like cool. I don't know about you, but if you ever been pinned somewhere by your tongue, it's mighty unpleasant. Yeah. So you. you and I should know. I've got the best tongue in the business. Yeah, you just had your tongue get stabbed. I sure did. Foreshadowing. But anywho, you jump up, you try to aim for the tug. Um, you wind up just nicking a piece of the bread, the lower part down here. Um, mm. I'll give you one point of damage on top of the two points of damage that it's dealing. Right. So That's cool. Not fair. Yeah. But you can always try again. <laughs> I very well might. We'll have to see, but I very well might. You can always try again when your turn is up. Uh, speaking of turns, Mitchy, you're up. Yes, indeed. And I um, am looking through my pack just to see what else I have. Um, okay, well, so I have um, a set of dice, which won't be very helpful, so I won't use those. And instead... You have a crowbar, by any chance. I do have a crowbar. Let's try that. Great um, idea. Yes. Oh, I, I know what I'd like to do with the crowbar. I'd like to use the crowbar to flip the top. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. That's a mistake because that'll put the fire out, not spread it. Mm, okay. I like to use the crowbar to um, pick up one of these. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get behind the rock that's right behind me. Um, uh, and I'm going to use the crowbar to flip it up on top of the burger man and hold him in place. All right, so take the crowbar, hit it, uh, keep it in place, kind of like what Jim was trying to do. Yes, we're going to pin this burger to the ground so it grills all the way through. Right. We sure are, friend. Nat one. Oh, do oh dear. Uh, we sure are, so friend. No, no. You go and swing, but you swung too hard, and you wound up nicking yourself on the knee, and you take two points of damage. Ouch. You better Can go I find that lettuce. Yeah, I'm still holding it. Can I just take a little oh. nip? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, on your turn. <laughs> on your turn. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. We'll make that an action. Ah, oh, you guys are too good. <laughs> uh, the monster didn't even notice, so it's still going to go and attack Jim. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Sounds good. Uh, there's a 13 hit. Oh, hang on. My armor class is 13, so uh, it ties? It hits. Wow. Oh, shoot. That's okay. It happens. So you just take five points of damage. Uh, oh. It might be a good idea to uh, get connected to Mitchie and get some of that lettuce. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though. Mm -hmm. You're doing pretty well with help, though. I'm going to look at the monster. I'm going to go, hey, 
tongue's gonna live here again. And I'm gonna try to like <laughs> shoot my tongue up into like into his olive eye, like into the hole in the olive, just because it feels like that would be painful to do. Sorry, the visualization of that. A little disturbing in my oh, mind. Oh, it's, it's it's real bad. It's real bad, and I, I'm sorry for that, friends. I really am. But uh, no, you're right. just you're just trying to eat the olive out from oh, the top yeah. of the burger. Net twenty. Oh, yes. All you gotta do is net twenty. All right. 20. <laughs> so what pretty much happened? So yeah, you got to do what you did. Oh yeah. But your tongue. There's. So going back to that bar, those daggers that you got stabbed in turned out it made your tongue super magical. Yeah, it, it hurts in the process. Oh, friend, friend, let me tell you, I know my tongue is magical, and that's not character. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, I hope oh, we don't have people man. under seventeen watching this right now, but. So pretty much, not only did you hit the tongue in the eye, your tongue goes all over the place, flailing around, moving the bun out of the way, taking out the uh, the patty itself, and essentially the burger has uh, it's all over the place on the ground. It's all sandy, so it's, it's not been really that deconstructed. I, I, I once that's over, I'm gonna look over at Mitchie two shoes and go, "Now that's what we call bunalingus." I can do a backflip, <laughs> a backflip to celebrate because uh, I'm a frog and I can jump. Uh, and, and I'm gonna I'm... say, and I'm gonna say, I'm twelve. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll you'll learn about eating pussy soon enough, son. Oh no, I know. I'm just telling you my age. Oh, okay. And I have, have you eaten? Say... Have you eaten pussy? Have you? All right. Yeah. So the monster, the monsters set on fire, and now we're going back to the tavern. Woo! God. And yes. Man, what an adventure. Yeah, good job, you guys. Uh, since we got a few minutes, uh, any promos that you guys want to do on top of the victory that you have? Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a few. Um, if, if, you like, uh, if you like podcasts, and I know you like podcasts, I do. Uh, you should tune in to a podcast called I Think You'd Be Into It, the podcast about your faves. It's hosted by... Um, Beth Scorzato and uh, I want to say his name's Brendan. Oh yeah, I uh, heard that. Her, he's, he's her boyfriend or something. I don't know. I I don't really pay much attention to him. Um, but that drops every Monday. Uh, it's a good little podcast. And if you want to go to uh, BrandonBeck.BandCamp.com, you can uh, find some some good music by a, a, a person unrelated to me. Um, and also, if you go on on the YouTube, uh, you can see about a dozen episodes of the Buck Owens Rant Show from 1968 to about 1974, and they're all uh, worth watching if you want to watch six different versions of Act Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. There's also and a link to in the chat. I'm being told. Uh, yep. Uh, the voice in my head also is telling me there's a link in the chat. Uh, well, all you gotta do is chat naturally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got one Buck Owens joke. I really do. <laughs> that's all, right. all you need i think i always i always say you only need one buck owens joke no um, oh, um that's true uh, friend <laughs> well i'll plug um um uh, you know i've been trying to get a publicist and uh, there's this guy who publicizes a bunch of stuff a publicist for uh the show apocalypse tips for lester pips which is on this very channel the back theater twitch on thursdays uh, at 9 p.m. and also is a podcast that comes out every Friday. Uh, that's at Lester Pips is the show, but then the publicist is at Ezra Parter, a guy. Uh, at Ezra Parter on Instagram and at Ezra Parter on Twitter and TikTok. Uh, and Ezra's also been publicizing another show called Fake News underscore Comedy. No, Fake News underscore Daily. It keeps changing. Uh, that fake sounds news like a fine program, friend. Thank you. I'll pass that along if I ever sign up with this publicist. Uh, uh, that's at fake news underscore daily on TikTok for now, but soon to be changed to the name The Misinformer. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. And so uh, oh, sorry. You were about to say one more thing? Uh, nope. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Well, thank you guys both so much for being on the show. Thank you all for watching today's episode. Uh, 
And yeah, if you consider donating, cool. There's information there. But yeah, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. everybody.